Good morning, YouTube, YTPC. How are you all doing? It's a kind of wet morning here, about five degrees, or, you know, not really cold, but uh, a bit miserable and gray out there. Today, they're digging up the, the road and told us you won't have internet for most of the day. You know, you think, bloody great, you know. Well, as you, many of you know, they resurfaced the whole road and had to lay a new utility pipe in there because it was 100 years old, so that's good. But whenever they do that, at least over here, they always do a couple of things wrong, you know. They either bury one of their pieces of equipment under the bloody road or they bury one of their colleagues under the road you know or uh, or they chop through the internet uh, light cable or something like that you know it's almost guaranteed that they have to come back all this lovely smooth surface that they've laid down they have to dig part of it up so that's what they're doing today. Uh, but I thought I could uh, complete a video that I'd wanted to make for a week or two to uh, Hobbiton Piper, a VR to him. Long overdue, and my apologies, my dear friend. I'm a bit slow to do that. Now then, housekeeping. Still using my uh, good old Cover Joe's pipe Zippo lighter. Actually, I've got a couple of others on order, which uh, I'll show you when they come in. But I rather like this double hold pipe lighter one, even though you can only get them in fuel versions. Still smoking my Ben Wade Christmas pipe with the sleighs on it and everything. Cleaned it out, thought I'll use it a couple more times here. Nine millimeter, does a great job. It's, it always smokes well, this one. And in it, in it, I'm trying out Otter Creek, Otter Creek which of course was the other one I got for four noggins. And so far, very good impression of this. Uh, very, you know, the sweetness you get straight away, you don't have to search, search for it. The vanilla is there, just so the toppings and the aroma all fit together. My guess is it's a Again, a little bit more burly than Virginia, which is how I like it, burly forward. And I think this is um, an easy all day smoke one, you know, a la codger. So, uh, and in uh, answering Hobbiton's Piper Thousand Sub Gore giveaway, I actually found out that most of the deep uh, cellared tobaccos I have are uh, codger blends really or could be described as that so to sum them up uh, of course Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic I made a little clip about how much I've got there um, but in terms of tubs you know uh, Lane Limited re ready rubbed um, Prince Albert I got a tub off and uh, put it into jars already. The tub is up here. <laughs> uh, you can see it up there. I tried to um, sell a deep uh, on some other pouch blends, for example, the Prince Albert soft vanilla, but uh, they stopped making it, you know. Or uh, Benson and Hedges special Virginia which has got hard to get and very expensive um, for example James Fox offer it in 25 
gram pouches for something like, I don't know, 11 or 12 pounds for that pouch. And, you know, that's half the normal quantity you would get in a pouch, you know? So, you really think, my God. So, um, some things I've just had to decide they're too expensive or too hard to get at the moment to uh, go a bit deeper. Got a few others, but um, there's none that can compare to Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic. Here's the little clip I made, which explains that. <laughs> well, this is a VR to Hobbiton Piper about tobaccos that we sell a deep. Um, and I've got uh, maybe two or three that I've got reserves, but I think the most representative tobacco is, of course, my absolute favourite and no secret to anyone in YTPC, Sir Walter Raleigh Aromatic. Uh, well, there it is. Um, well, actually, no, that's not the reserve, uh, of course. You know, I do have, uh, you know, a proper reserve, like a tub, you know. Beautiful big tub there, you know, so that's one, one, yeah, well, actually it's not the only tub, of course, you know, but if you're gonna really go deep in the cellar, you know, gotta have a, a, a bit of uh, tobacco there. So, you know, those uh, 12 ounces is about six, two ounce tins or, you know, there's about two ounces that you get in a, in a jar, you know, so, um, no, uh, well, of course that's not it, you know, well, <laughs> you know, that wouldn't be a, a deep seller in YTPC, would it? You know, I mean, you know, uh, one of the earlier tubs I, I've jarred up because, um, these are actually cardboard, which are metalized in the inside. They're probably good for a year. Um, I think, you know, you can't leave these for five years, they'll, they'll dry out. So, so as they get older, these tubs, I will be drying them in glass with nice rubber seals, you know. Always keep it labelled so I, you know, don't panic that I can't find anything, you know. Uh, well, uh, you know, that's not it, of course, you know. <laughs> well, you know, that still wouldn't be deep, deep cellar, would it? You know, so you've got to have, well, you've got to have a bit of tobacco, you know. So, you know, there's another one that I've jarred up. Uh, actually, we'll have to take the camera back a bit uh, for uh, capturing this, this, you know. Well, uh, you know... Well, that, that's plenty, isn't it, really? You know, that'll keep me going for, oh, you know, that, that might even last a month, you know? So Walter well Raleigh really aromatic. Uh, well, yeah, that said, of course, you know, you can't have too much of a, of a good thing. So, you, you know, got a bit, bit more just to be on the safe side, you know? And, uh, well, actually, you know, that's not everything. If I really confess, that's not everything. That's the one I'm smoking at the moment. I always have one of these jars sort of available because I'm, you know, just love to come back to them. And, uh, well, yeah, can't have too much of a good thing, can you, you know? So, uh, is that it? No, uh, wait a minute, there's a new... There's a new seven ounce tub, isn't there? That one, you know, I, I had to get that to try to compare it, you know, I had no choice. I had to get it to, in order to make the comparison, you know, is the future Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic as good as was in the old big tub? So, you know, that will be a video coming up. So uh, that's my my deep cellar. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, in the other place, I have about as much again. Well, you know, you did say deep cellar, didn't you? You know. <laughs> 
Well, that's what you call deep cellaring, you know, because I know I will always love that tobacco. Um, now, he also said to explain why, you know, it's the perfect base of uh, in tobacco with uh, more burley and then Virginia and then uh, those beautiful toppings which are two liqueurs, a Dutch and a French liqueur. They, they basically give it this most marvelous sweet and fruity nuance, but it's not goopy. You know, it won't stain your fingers when you're handling it. And uh, it won't bite, you know. It's pretty robust if you, even if you smoke it quite fast. So. And I quite often just always am coming back to that one as the one I can count on that won't bite me and I'll enjoy it, you know. And has lovely aroma as well and a room note and, you know, tub or tin note. So hard to beat, really, in my view. Now, you did see I got one of the seven ounce tubs that they've uh, made in Scandinavia now and I will some point in the future make a review comparing that to the original lane produced you know 12 ounce tub um kind of curious it, you know hopefully they have not tinkered too much with uh, the recipe because that would be disastrous for me i remember uh, paladin talking about um the, the paladin cherry uh, and the new production location, the pouches of that tobacco, he said, they're not as good. He really in, enjoyed the original and, and less so the new one. But, you know, I suppose if you change production location, something is gonna change in the process or even God forbid, uh, the ingredients. So we shall see. Got the radio with uh, good old John Tesh, of course, you know, because I've got no internet, so I can't do my beamer. And uh, show you some lovely Christmas uh, ambiance videos with music, unfortunately, at the moment. Just praying they're going to finish by the end of the day, but we shall see. Well, I can honestly tell you, Otter Creek is a, a smash, you know. If you want uh, a slightly lighter, nuanced, uh, but very clearly detectable and, and adequate flavor there. Uh, easy to smoke, burly forward blend. This is a very good one. So Jeff has done it again. He's found something I've never heard of. And they're both excellent, Lord Methley and Otter Creek. Uh, different occasion type of tobaccos, but I might well get some more of both of them. I've got effectively a jar little bit left in the pouch to try out. But I say that about too many tobaccos, I must get some more, you know. I have to slowly slow down and realise I just can't have everything. Uh, and, you know, several t the tins or uh, or jars of everything. It's difficult, isn't it? You know, you see a review, you look it up and you think, oh, I didn't know about that and that really sounds good. Check to tobacco reviews, you look at a couple of reviews of other people and you think, well, I've got to try this. This sounds really good, you know. And sometimes it is that good and sometimes not. But, you know, nothing ventured, n nothing gained, I suppose.
Oh, by the way, I've added a sticker or two. And I forgot to mention that when I was talking about good old Cup of Joes, I bought one of their little Yeti stickers. See that? And I, I actually was digging around in this cellar and I, I found I've still got some of these Beretta stickers here, which uh, says here, protected by Beretta, uh, you steal it, you die with it. <laughs> nice sort of nudge to whoever reads that, think, yeah, you might want to think about this, you know, maybe you want to go home and, you know, not rob today. Fuel lighters actually keep longer in the shed, of course, because it's cooler, so the evaporation is much reduced. And uh, filled this up four or five days ago. Uh, haven't put um, so far grommets and things on it, but um, it's all nicely uh, light, so keeping them a bit cooler stored helps as well. It's obvious, isn't it, really? Quite recently, Parsimonious Piper also um, commented that he likes to have variety, so he actually sells wide and, in some cases, deep. That's actually more or less what I do. I must uh, have the variety of choice and uh, I haven't come to the point where you sort of just focus down on a few blends. Now, the great um, Artful Codger said, you know, one one point he, he did all of this. He tried loads of different tobaccos and had loads of tins. And then finally just came down to a few that he really liked and, and kept those. And... Uh, I don't know if that will happen to me because I just love this variety side so much. Um, but if it does, uh, the, f the very few that I've stocked up a little bit more will probably be the ones I would go with and certainly Sir Walter Raleigh Aromatic, that's for sure. In fact, I can honestly say Otter Creek is excellent. I am definitely going to get some more of this particular one because it is a superb light vanilla blend but just enough that you're not searching for it or wondering where it's gone and it behaves well in, in the bowl and that expression, it behaves well, is everything with a tobacco, you know, it's easy, it's not gonna go out on you, it's not gonna bite you, it's not gonna suddenly change its flavor and go berserk and uh, really a, a wonderful discovery by Jeff Aromatics. Do check out his channel, he's great, he's great. And he likes cigars in case you like cigars as well so occasionally he does reviews of those and he's got uh, Hello Kitty Piper uh, who joins him sometimes which is just marvellous a lovely couple anyway you all take care look after yourselves out there and I'll see you in a few days with something else <laughs>